Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about a leaked scene actually coming from the finale coming this very Sunday, so we've only got a few days until the finale of Season 4, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first off, in case you missed my video the other day because the information was sort of all mashed into one, but the CW had that up front, and basically Supergirl is going to be moving from its Sunday time slot at 8, 7 central on the CW to 9, 8 central, so an hour later, and that's kind of curious, and the idea that pops in my mind straight away when I think about the later time slot is they're allowed to get away with more dark stuff, they're allowed to get away with gore and all of that, so... Is Supergirl going to be darker next season? I think that's a valid sort of theory that we can sort of speculate about and talk about as we head into next season. We might be asking about that tomorrow or today because, you know, we're at the Ultimates. I'm going there. It's in Birmingham in England. Kyla Lee's there. Nicole Maines is there. Floriana Lima and lots more of the Supergirl cast are there. So I'm guessing this may be brought up because it's obviously a moving time slot and, you know, they can get away with a lot so is Supergirl going to change quite a lot next season I'm not sure and I don't think it will get much darker but I think they can get away with a few extra things here and there but let's go ahead and talk about the finale and what to expect because we had this leak scene that has been making the rounds on tumblr Instagram Twitter I don't have tumblr but that's where people say it's originated from so someone's obviously seen a scene like a sneak peek and has been able to record it so I'll leave the link in the description below to the video so you can watch the video after you watch this or before maybe that would be better and it's on a Fox channel so maybe this is Australian I know the CW has a deal with Australia TV to do with Fox so maybe it's Australian I'm not sure but anyway so this is leaked so I'm not going to show the video in this video but you can check it out Okay, so what happens in this is we see the return of Lex Luthor, which is super exciting because at first I was like, nah, I do not want Lex Luthor on Supergirl because I want a Supergirl villain. I don't care about Lex Luthor because I'm not a big fan. I think there's been good iterations of him, but I think he's been way overused. I think the animated show is actually the best version of Lex Luthor. So in the Superman anim animated show, that's my favorite. But... Yeah, so I was very negative going in, but man, the John Cryer surprise, he is a great Lex Luthor. I think maybe my favourite now. He's only appeared in two episodes, and he's appearing in this one, but this will be his last one, seemingly. So, we'll talk about a spoiler in regards to what happens with Lex, just at the end of this video, because it's a massive spoiler. We made a video on it the other day, so you can check that out, find it on my channel. But anyway, so, in this sneak peek, in this leak scene, what is said at first is Lex is talking to Red Kara, Red's daughter, and so he says, how you had my whole internet history at your disposal, and you should know two things, defending Kaznia is small potatoes for Lex Luthor, and I hate Kryptonians, and what are you, Kryptonian? And then Red Daughter replies, you should have let me die, and Lex replies, die I have bigger plans for you so the first thing to take away from this scene is the ending of last episode was obviously a red herring Lex didn't kill red daughter red daughter's still alive and we knew this I actually sussed it out because I remember when they were all wrapping up the finale like for the last time when they were about to go on hiatus um, Jesse Raff actually posted an Instagram video on the last day of his shooting and David Harewood's last day of shooting and red daughter was on set so Melissa was in her costume so after the episode I was like oh yeah I had some doubts at first if she was actually dead or not but she's alive it confirms it here and so what is happening basically is Lex has manipulated the president once again or they may be in cahoots but in any way he's faked her death essentially so I'm not sure if he just knocked her out made her look like she was dead or it's like some sort of hologram I don't know but Anyway, so he talks about how she could have basically searched up Lex Luthor, his history, what he is. Like, I think she knew roughly, and I think talking to Kara last episode, she sussed out that, yeah, maybe Lex is not so good. 
but she has her loyalty to Alex, as she calls her, calls him, sorry, and so, yeah, I think the idea is Lex is calling out how naive Red Daughter was when dealing with Lex Luthor, because, like, why would an American help Kazian defeat America? That doesn't make sense, really, because, yeah. Whatever. So he says two things. Defending Kaznia is small potatoes for Lex Luthor. We knew that from the start. He's a very manipulative person who controls and wants power. That's all he wants. So he's going to be in this episode going into the White House, actually, because now he's in control of the president in a weird way. I don't know to exactly what point yet, but it seems like he's definitely in cahoots because it was revealed last episode. And... So, defending Kasnia is nothing to him. It's just all part of his plan, and they teased that last episode with Lena actually finding out about Lex's plan to actually get Kasnia to invade, and then he protects America. And that's at the point where, obviously, he's sort of gained some control with him supposedly killing Supergirl, even though Supergirl was wearing the Kasnian symbol on her chest. So, yeah, I think you could suss that out that that wasn't Supergirl, because you know, it's the Kaslian symbol, but, so, what he says next is, I hate Kryptonians, and what are you, Kryptonian, and so, what he's holding her down in right here, seems to be some sort of device that is actually holding her, and this device seems to be what's strapping her in, because I think at this point, we may sort of see a redemption arc for Red Daughter in this episode, maybe she sacrifices herself, but we know what happens at the end of the episode in regards to Lex, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So, is she going to be redeemed? We obviously saw those qualities early in the season, where she sort of had doubts about how bad Supergirl is, and how bad Americans are, but now she's been manipulated to believe that they are the enemy, so that obviously Lex can do what he wants and get it in his own way, so he can control everything. So, this is definitely her obviously realising, oh shit, I'm stupid. You know, I need to sort this out, and I think she's going to be a hero of sorts in this episode. And you saw that sort of moment last episode where she realized, oh, what am I doing? I'm killing this person. Like, what am I doing? This is a different version of me. So I think that realization moment definitely teases what's happening in this episode. So I believe that she may sacrifice herself. She may die in this episode. Or, she carries on and she becomes Linda Lee from the comics, the very first Supergirl, because that wig that she's been wearing is a nice shout out to that. Or maybe she becomes Power Girl and she plays a part in the crossover. I think that would be a very interesting idea. Uh, let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. And so, Red Daughter says, you should have let me die. And so, this is in regards to what happened last episode, so I'm presuming Lex did actually knock her out and make her look like she was about to die. So, what happened in that last episode in the finale, I believe that was actually real, not like a hologram or anything. So, yeah, she wants to die, basically, because she has basically been revealed to be nothing. She is not what Lex promised her to be and, like, not anything that she sort of aspired to made any sense because she's been manipulated and so Lex replies die question mark I have bigger plans for you and I think those plans are definitely obviously playing out with her being strapped up here I think there is going to be a big last battle between Red Daughter and Supergirl and maybe she goes undercover again but under the control of Lex because I don't think she's going to do that willingly anymore after this scene so I think the way it could go down is something that we're not expecting I'm not sure but he has bigger plans I don't know if that carries on to next season or it's just to be finished this season and that's it for Red Daughter but she's been a great addition in the last part of the season it just took too much of a long time I think I really really hoped we would have seen more but Lex is great and I can't wait for this finale so thank you guys so much for watching this video I'm going to be at the ultimates later today tomorrow and on Sunday as well so please be sure to say hi if you're there Kyla Lee's there Floriana Lima Nicole Mains and lots more also I'm at MCM London Comic Con in a few weeks time and we're gonna be meeting up with some of you guys there so Please be sure to say hi. Also, San Diego Comic Con in the summer. I will remind you closer to the time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.